Hello everybody. Behind me is Ericsson's sustainable site of the future. The first thing we should remember is that most of the energy usage on the site is actually from the radio. That's why we've chosen Ericsson's Air 6419 latest generation massive MIMO TDD radios, which are 20% more energy efficient than the previous generation. The next thing we need to do is make sure we're switching off that radio when it's not in use, just like you would switch off the lights in your house. And how do we do that? We use Ericsson's AI ML software to make sure that the radio is only on when it's needed to be. As an example, when the grid types are high, the system will use solar or battery to operate the network. And the batteries will only be charged at night when the grid types are low. Because we are taking advantage of these multiple changing tariffs, there's a real opportunity to reduce operational expenses related to energy. By enabling our portfolio with solutions like this site to be more sustainable, Ericsson is leveraging the power of sustainable solutions to reach our own net zero targets. We have multiple energy sources. Firstly, you see the solar panels behind me. So it's a lovely sunny day here in Plano, Texas, but typically you'd get eight hours of solar energy on a site. Then we use Ericsson's smart site controller to choose and select between the different energy services. So for example, firstly, we'd use solar panels, the solar power. If that's not available, so at night, for example, we would then switch to the battery capability. And then if the battery is not available, then the input grid can be used. In certain circumstances and configurations, we don't need the input grid at all. It can be a totally off-grid site. If there are peaks in the network that is unexpected, the system will use batteries to com compensate for that energy peak. The main advantage of a system that's fully integrated like this is that it manages all the radio access components end-to-end -end in a holistic way. Now, as an example, if there's a grid outage, the system will start turning capacity layers off, keeping the coverage layer to make sure that the battery storage system can last longer so the network can run longer during the grid outage. This site can also be used as a sandbox which will enable innovation by testing RAN hardware and software solutions that improve energy efficiency in conjunction with smart site solutions to create a comprehensive end-to-end -end system. We look forward to partnering with our customers to reach their net zero goals, help reduce their OPEX and introduce new revenue streams in the future, enhance grid resiliency, and build stronger connections across the country. These design choices together make this a model for Ericsson's sustainable site of the future.